In Origin Pro 8.6, you have the ability to fit a multi-peak surface using NL Fit. Here, we have a surface represented as a color fill plot and the data behind it situated in a matrix that represents some kind of image perhaps of nine point sources against a dark background. And we want to fit a surface to these data. To do so, we go to Analysis, Fitting, Nonlinear Surface Fit, NL Fit opens, and now we need to choose a fitting function. Since we have 2D data, we only get a selection of 2D functions. I will choose Gauss 2D. The default is for Origin to fit only one peak on a surface. Here in the preview window, we see the lower left peak has been uh, aimed in on by the fitter. To specify more peaks, we go to the Advanced tab and then specify some number of replicas. In this case, we have one original peak and eight replicas to make nine total peaks. The preview adjusts accordingly, and now we see that there is a fit on top of each of the peaks. Now we can go ahead and perform the fit. And we see now that a fit report is generated in which all the fit parameters for each peak are displayed along with the usual statistics and fit curve plot. Also a table is placed on the original graph since we fit from the graph essentially. A nice way to display uh, a fit surface and the results are to plot the original data as a scatter plot and plot the fit curve as the surface. So to do so, I go to my fit matrix sheet, plot as a color fill surface, and said so this is our fitted surface. And now I'd like to add the original data as scatter points. To do so, I'll right click on the layer icon, select layer contents. With the layer contents dialog I will select the original data and I want to bring it over as a scatter. And I want the scatter data to draw on top of the surface so I move it to be the top layer and I select OK. And one more thing we can do for clarity is to apply transparency to the surface. Another slight modification would be to turn off the drop lines that appear for the scatter data. And now we have a surface displayed with the corresponding data that was used to generate the fit. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.